Got it. Thanks. Found the crematorium. Let's just hope it's not too late. Hi, this is Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. I'm trying to track down my father. His name is Martin Fitzgerald. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but that name doesn't sound familiar. Don't give me that. He was taken without his family's consent. Now, if he's cremated, he'll be charged with a felony under the laws of this state. Do you understand? Uh, I, I'll see what I can do, officer. Well, you better do a hell of a lot better than that. Because I'm on my way down there right now. Call me officer. I didn't tell him I was a cop. It's like he was expecting my call. I want to go with you, Luis. I'll get my bag. I'm coming too. Just do it. But I don't have consent papers from the family of the deceased. Don't argue with me. Just see to it. Martin Fitzgerald's remains are cremated immediately. Trust me, Father, Martin Fitzgerald will never bother us again. He should be going up in smoke at any time now. Should be isn't good enough, Julian. I won't rest until I know for certain it's Martin's body that's been disposed of. Put down your drink and get moving. I want you to personally supervise the cremation. Much better. It's possible that, that the man who died wasn't my father after all. You're kidding. Do you know what this means, Whitney? That your real father didn't do all these terrible things. Yes, and that he could still be alive. And you know what else this means? I don't have to stop loving Ethan after all. Well, <laughs> I take it you're not mad at me for being at Teresa's when you call. How could I possibly be mad at you? I love you for the kind and compassionate man that you are. So tell me what her boyfriend was like. Boyfriend? Mm -hmm. He was there, right? I mean, he must have been there to comfort her at her time of need. He was there, right? No. And I suppose you're right. I mean, you'd think he'd be there while Teresa's family's going through this terrible time. Mm -hmm. you know, but I didn't even think to ask about him. Well, he must have been there and left by the time Sheridan and I arrived. Maybe. You're not getting back on that kick about Teresa producing a boyfriend, are you? I mean, I thought you wanted us to get on with our future together. Ethan, of course I want that. I want that more than anything in the world. I just don't see how we can do that without getting Teresa out of our lives for good. 